Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. We uh, are going to do another review for you today. Um, if you haven't seen our previous two reviews, um, we reviewed our last trip from when we went in December. Um, just all the general sort of stuff and all the things that were going on specifically for Christmas. And then we had our review of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. So if you've not seen those videos, check them out. They are in the playlist. So um, if you head over there, you'll find this video and those other two videos in there um, yeah so basically we just wanted to talk about um, when we went to early morning magic at Toy Story Land yeah. um, we um, well as soon as we heard about this we thought there's we have to get a reservation for it because basically what happens is you get early access to the whole of Toy Story Land in Hollywood Studios which means um, all three rides so um, Toy Story Mania and um, Slinky Dog Dash and the alien swirling saucers. And um, you also get access um, to a couple of meet and greets. So you get to see um, Woody and Jesse and have a meet and greet with Buzz as well. And it also includes breakfast. So that's the general gist of it. We had to get tickets for this. Yeah. Um, because um, we know Slinky Dog is notoriously hard to get fast pass for. So that's why we really wanted to, uh, to book on for this. Yeah. So um, we'll just give you a general idea of what we thought about it and um, maybe you're thinking about doing it as well and you haven't done it yet and um, we can help you decide. So it was our first time actually seeing um, Toy Story Land um, which is why we really wanted to get um, this ticket so we could have that early access because when we um, uh, walked in we could actually see it for in all its glory basically without all the crowds that we've seen photographs of and um, footage in um, other vlogs and everything so um, yeah it starts at between 7 and 7 30 um, we had a 7 o'clock reservation um, and uh, but sometimes there's a 7 30 re yeah. reservation so they start so. off with a 7 30 reservation and um, that was actually fully booked when we went mm -hmm. on to book it for sort of the date that we had in mind um, but then they released more tickets and they classed it as a 7 a.m reservation um, so yeah so that's the one we got yeah um, now so we're not really quite sure what time they actually opened Toy Story, La Toy Story Land we got in there about is it about 10 past, 10 past 7? 7, something like that, and there were already people on the ride. So um, I'm not really sure about that, um, but it's generally from between 7, 7.30 up until 9 o'clock, and that's when um, regular day um, guests started to come in. Well, a little bit before that, but yeah. we'll talk about that a little bit <laughs> later. Um, the cost of uh, this extra special time and breakfast is was around $85 each, um, which you're probably thinking quite expensive um but we're kind of uh we'll talk about whether uh, we thought it was value for money and everything but we'll kind of uh go through all the different things that we really enjoyed about it um give you our thoughts and then you can make your own mind up if it's something that you would like to like to do um it's worth mentioning as well that um you do need a valid park entry ticket for, yeah. with this um, special ticket at event. I know with um, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, you just need the Christmas Party ticket. You don't need an entrance ticket as well. Um, but for this, you need an entrance ticket. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you actually book it as if you're booking a, a dining reservation, um, but you do have to pay for it at the time of booking that dining reservation. So they will take the whole cost um, for your party. So it's worth bearing in mind. Um, I'm not sure what the cancellation thing is if you're going to change your mind um, but they do take all of the money when um, you book it but you book it exactly the same way we booked it through and kind of the My Disney Experience app yeah. and chose our time which was it was only showing the seven o'clock one um, so yeah and just click on your time so what all happens exactly the same as a dining reservation only that they um, will take all of the money um, straight away and that it will be in dollars so um, when any any bookings that go through my Disney experience it's always in dollars so we actually used our um, currency card a preloaded currency card mm -hmm. for that so we knew exactly how much it was going to cost us and we knew there weren't going to be any additional charges so like we said, we got there at around 10 past 7. Um, obviously we did intend to get there before that time. Um, it was our first sort of morning um, on site. Um, so we were up very early, which is part of the reason why we decided to have 
this um, special event on this mm -hmm. day. Um, but just because we knew we were going to be up early anyway, so we just wanted to make the most out of that time. Um, because none of the parks had um, extra magic hours happening, did no. they? So we thought, you know, we didn't really want to wait until 9am to, to get into the parks. And this is a really good of using sort of that jet lag time. Yeah. Um, so we, um, we initially didn't know if the buses were going to be running or not, because obviously it's quite early. Mm -hmm. um, but we were assured that the buses would be running from 6 30 um so and it's is it around 10 minutes to hollywood studios yeah i think it's minutes? less than 10 minutes yeah. from all star sports so um we we sort of allocated sort of thinking if the bus came at 6 30 we would be there well in advance of 7 a.m to um to get into the park and um, what actually happened um was we got to the bus line just before 6 30 and um, the app and the screens were both saying it's going to be 6 30 arrival and that time just kept Getting, getting later and later and later and actually the bus didn't arrive until around about 10 to 7 mm -hmm. maybe 5 to 7 um so yeah we kind of we, we we figured that that time meant that that was what time the bus was going to arrive and we did mention this in our other videos we relied on it where maybe we should have got a minivan because yeah. um yeah the minivans tend to be whatever the time it says they tend to turn yeah. up at that time. Um, but yeah, so we did arrive a little bit later. Um, they do did still have all the construction happening um, at Hollywood Studios, which meant the bus drop-off was quite a way away mm -hmm. as well. So by the time we'd actually walked up to the main entrance, it was after 7 a.m. Um, there was no light. There wasn't, there wasn't really a line when we got there, was there? No, we kind of, it's this, a similar thing to when you first woke up to Hollywood Studios um, at normal hours, really. Um, and apart from there were um, cast members, um, before you scan your magic band to get into the park or scan your um, tickets, um, and they had kind of handheld scanners. Um, so they um, scanned my um, magic band, didn't they? Yeah. And um, obviously could see that we had the reservation for this event. Um, and then they um, gave each of us wristbands um, so that, and you know, you kind of show your wristbands uh, while you're in there or they can see that you've got one on. So obviously if you haven't got one on, that means that you're not, um, you've not paid for this event. So they gave us our wristbands and then we kind of lined up. Um, it was a really short line to kind of scan our magic bands to scan our tickets to get inside. Um, that was a really quick and easy process. All of the cast members were really organised, really friendly, as you'd expect, um, offering to give us any information that we needed, gave us a leaflet to tell us a little bit more about the event and also um, the breakfast options um, that we were going to have later on. So that was really nice. They were, it was a really calm entrance yeah, and a time really. We're not sure what it was like if you arrived before that. We're not mm -hmm. sure what time they actually started letting people in. But when we arrived, it was a really smooth process. They were really, you know, they were on it, weren't they? Yeah. And uh, we kind of headed up towards the Chinese theatre and there were people along the way to um, guide us um, in the right direction. And then somebody saying, if you if you go right, you could go to straight to Toy Story Land. Or if you wanted to have your breakfast first at ABC Commissary, you could go left. Um, so we decided to go right um, and head straight for um, Toy Story Land, didn't we? Yeah. Now, when we uh, arrived, we kind of, we literally strolled into Toy Story Land to take it all in. We took lots of photographs, um, we took some video, um, and just really, like, there's so much detail um, that has been put into the park. It's so it was so lovely just yeah. to see all of those little touches and and you know we went later on the trip and you can't see that detail for the sea of people. Yeah. So it was so nice. That was our first look at Toy Story Land and we could just really enjoy it and take it all in and see all those um, little details and um, yeah that was a really I just thought it was a really great start. Yeah and yeah you could just see everything. There were obviously people rushing to get into the lines for Slinky Dog, yeah. for example. Um, but yeah, we just really enjoyed, we took that first sort of like 10, 15 minutes just to take it all in, take photographs and really enjoy it without the crowds. So obviously the whole of Toy Story Land is open for this event. So you have got Toy Story Mania, Slinky Dog Dash, and alien swirling saucers. Um, obviously, most people rush to Slinky Dog Dash first um, because obviously they've probably been on Toy Story Mania before, and um, alien swirling saucers is is less of a sort of popular ride. But everyone wants to try it because you know if it's your first time in Toy Story Land and you haven't been on it, you want to give it a go yeah. anyway. Um, so basically, um, we did head to Slinky Dog Dash first. Um, 
and we waited around about five minutes. Yeah, kind of five, ten minutes. Yeah, um, so really quick, you just, they basically um, send you what the fast pass line, so yeah. yeah. Um, we actually asked the cast member once we got to the front of the line if we could um, sit right at the back, um, which they were fine to do, so we just um, headed to the back, um, and it was amazing, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it like, really was. Definitely worth waiting for. Yeah, it's, it is such a good ride. I've not heard anyone say, like, anything less for Slinky Dog, they just love it, and um, you know, it is still um, getting those long wait times, and it's so hard to get a fast pass because you know, people are going on it and loving it, and obviously wanting to go on it again as well. So, um, yeah, it, it's, it's a fantastic ride um, for all ages, I think, um, and yeah, definitely lived up to expectations for me, yes. So we absolutely loved it. Um, I'm pretty sure we spotted other people literally just coming, get, getting off it and going straight back on yeah. it. Um, so, you know, realistically, you could ride it five, ten times. If, if yeah. you know, if that's all you wanted to do, yeah. just keep going around on Slinky Dog, you could do that. Uh, we decided to head over to Toy Story Mania, which is actually one of our all-time favourite rides. And literally, that was a walk-on. Yeah. There yeah. was absolutely no wait. Literally, we just walked all the way through the new lines. Um, which are gorgeous by the way obviously you know better if you're not stood waiting in there yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah just the attention to detail just in the like the queue is amazing mm -hmm. um, Mr Potato Head was going and cracking jokes and things which was cute wasn't it yeah. Um, but yeah as soon as we got to the sort of the bit where you, you get on it that you know they just directed us straight in, onto there because there was no weight whatsoever no so yeah that was pretty amazing yeah um just as good as no yeah. normal um you know the ride is still the same and like I say it is one of our favorites and um kind of walking off the ride as well um again lots of attention to detail um that really kind of added to the theme so in the walk from getting off the ride back into the main part of Toy Story Land was kind of fun and there's things to look at so yeah I thought that was pretty cool yeah and then we headed over to Alien Swirling Saucers which yeah. we were a little bit worried about weren't we yeah I kind of <laughs> I wasn't sure I didn't really like the kind of spinny um rides um so, and I was a little bit worried that it would spin but it didn't spin um, so I felt fine. Um, we kind of just, it was so funny, wasn't it? I think we yeah. laughed all the way around, actually. Yeah. It was literally a five minute wait to get on this. I think we'd kind of timed it as the same as everyone else had yeah. timed it. So we did see shorter waits than that, like people pretty much walking straight on yeah. at other times during the session. Um, but yeah, it was just really funny. And um, every now and then they were alternating sort of with Christmas music mm -hmm. with them because obviously it was Christmas time and it was all, um, the add-ons were on for Christmas. Um, so yeah, it was a really like nice fun ride yeah. um i don't know if we'd carry on sort of like going on there maybe sort of once per trip yeah. it's not something we would do probably more than once no um yeah if the it's, line was it's a nice short, short. Yeah. yeah if the line was short enough then um we'd go on it but we wouldn't probably wait very long um to want to go on it again but it was it was fun yeah um and we did only ride it that one time we spent um the rest of our time there um kind of alternating between slinky dog and um, Toy Story Mania. Um, now we, um, it probably, those people who were just kept going round and round on, on um, Slinky Dog Dash, I think that was probably a bit of a time saver. You could maybe do, um, instead of kind of walking to, it's not very big Toy Story Land, but you know, if you didn't want to keep walking to and from the rides and kind of using that time, um, maybe you could just kind of go around a few times on Slinky Dog, then kind of do it a few times on um, Toy Story yeah. Mania and kind of work Save out a different way. Well. Yeah. And maybe you wouldn't head straight for Slinky Dog Dash. Maybe next time I think we might start with Toy Story Mania and kind of do it the other way around and hope that, um, Everyone else doesn't have yeah. the same idea. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Everyone has the same plans. Um, so, and I think it just depends what it's like from day to day. Um, I think there's probably been um, busier early morning magic um, events, and there's probably been less crowded early morning. I reckon we're probably in the mid somewhere in the middle. From what I've seen um, from um, other vlogs and things like that, I would say it's kind of probably in the middle. And we rode um, Slinky Dog Dash three times. Yes. Toy Story Mania three times and Aliens Will and Saucers once. Yeah. Um, and that was pr pretty much our whole time. Um, we started heading out um, to go and get our breakfast at about five, kind of ten to nine, five to nine. Yeah, we, like that. I think it was about, um, I think it was around about 8.45 that we went for our final um, sort of go on Slinky Dog Dash. And um, 
by that point there was already a standby line. Yeah. Um. So they'd already let in the rope drop yeah. people. I'm not um, sure many of them were actually getting on the ride, but yeah. they were they were they were already filtering into the line. So yeah. what we had to do was show our wristbands to go into the fast pass line. Um. At that time, but that's the only time we had to do that. Yeah. Um. And then we when we came off the ride, it was just maybe just before um. 9 a.m. and the standby wait time was already well over an hour. Yeah. So I think it was about 90 minutes. I'm yeah. sure I looked at the the sign and it was it was already 90 minutes yeah. by nine o'clock. So just worth worth thinking about. Um, just bear in mind that if you do leave Slinky till sort of towards the end or you know your last ride of it towards the end of that session, there may be standby guests already coming in. Yeah. So there were um the two meet and greet options as well. Um, there was Buzz and um, Woody and Jesse did their one as well. So they did theirs together and Buzz was kind of um, on his own. Now we didn't um, choose to use any of our early morning magic time to have those meet and greets, but I think that's probably um, the one thing that we learned ready for next time maybe was that we would um, spend some of our time doing that meet and greet because we came back later on in the day and um, once we'd had our breakfast and everything and we um, got in the line for Woody and Jesse and it's probably one of the longest lines of our whole trip. We waited around maybe 45 minutes, yeah. could be longer. Um, yeah, so yeah. It, it definitely the, we, the lines were shorter during the early morning magic time. Um, so yeah, that's one thing we would say. We did meet Buzz on a completely different day as yeah. well. I um, think that was during extra magic hours. Yeah, so it was wasn't so such a long mm -hmm. line for that one. Um, but yeah, definitely um, if we do early morning magic again, we would definitely use some of the time to do those meet and greets because they do get yeah. pretty busy. Yeah. And maybe while you're waiting or if you've got family members who don't want to go on a certain ride or don't want to, to line up for the meet and greets, um, it is worth mentioning that they do have um, a refreshment stand. Um, so they serve um, coffee and water and things like that. We didn't actually have any of it, um, but it is worth bearing in mind that that is an option too if you just want to grab a drink or um, kind of like stroll, you know, stroll around or have a sit down and take it all in. And um, so if you hold, hold your party, don't want to have a photograph with Woody and Buzz, and, and Jesse, then you know there are oh, you could grab a drink or do you kind of take yeah. it all in. Um, that was included as well. Yeah. Those um, they they were complimentary those beverages, and the there was a cast member there with the tables that are just round from Woody's lunchbox. Yeah, because um, Woody's yeah. lunchbox wasn't actually open during this event, so it was just kind of this table, wasn't yeah. it? So it was a really good, we thought that was a really good idea, especially if it's a particularly warm day or a particularly cold day. Um, the day we were there was absolutely it's freezing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it was nice to know that you could actually get a nice hot drink without having to go and sort of all the way and get your breakfast. So yeah, we thought that was really good. So once we had finished riding all of the rides, um, we did go and get the um, breakfast, which is included as part of this package. Um, the breakfast was at the ABC commissary, um, and basically um, you could go in, order um, sort of a, a main hot meal, um, and that was um, sort of like you would do the normal like quick service way so you just line up for that and then they also had a big table laid out with all of the um, cereals and the pastries um, coffee tea like all the beverage options as well um so yeah it was pretty crowded when we went in yeah um but the cast members were doing an amazing job at clearing and they were just really really helpful um and sometimes when it gets a little bit busier and you know people can get a little bit flustered there wasn't any of that going on no. at all um it was really clean despite how busy it was despite how crazy it must have been all morning for them and um, they did such a good job at making sure everyone's clean and tidy and like there were available tables um, yeah. and the, all the food was topped up as well yeah. like even when we every time um, I went up to the um, different tables um, there were always um, plenty of pastries plenty of yogurt fruit cereals and everything so um, you know I, we never had to ask for any anything the whole time I never saw anyone else waiting or asking for anything um, so I think yeah, they they were they was just so good. Yeah, and I think um, breakfast finished around about ten a.m. Mm -hmm. um, so we did have plenty of time as well. Like it wasn't just that we used our you know two hours at, in Toy Story Land and then we had to quickly rush you know the add on the food at the end. Um, it was like 
yeah, everything was still flowing mm -hmm. and yeah, we didn't feel like we had to just quick, quickly and get out of there, yeah. did we? Um, but yeah, so that was really good. Yeah. Um, food in general was really, really nice mm -hmm. and th there was plenty as well. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, it was really tough to decide actually because all the hot meals looked really nice. Yeah. Um, and we've seen other people's um, vlogs where like, people there was mixed reviews on the food but actually we really enjoyed it yeah. um so i had the um don't chicken and donuts so a bit of a spin on the chicken and waffles um i already knew that's what i wanted i saw it at somebody else's <laughs> vlog <laughs> to have that so my mind was made up yeah. you took a little while to decide i did i really couldn't decide everything looked so good and um yeah, in the end, I kind of went for the Mexican breakfast bowl. It, it had a special name. I'm not quite, I can't quite remember. We'll um, kind of add it if we if we find out exactly what it was called. But um, it was a combination of kind of like um, scrambled egg and avocado and um, tomato salsa. And, and like, and that kind of these, like, it was kind of like crispy flat noodles, but I think they were made out of tortilla. I'm not really sure. It's, it's something that, I've never had before, um, so I was thinking, should I try something new or do I go um, chicken and donuts? Because I know I like chicken and I know I like donuts. Um, but I thought, no, I'll try something new, and I, I was so glad that I did. It was so delicious, um, and I would definitely eat that again. Yeah. So that the mains we thought were really nice, yeah. and all of the pastries were really nice. So it was a really yeah. nice selection as yeah. well. I kind of like took, I, I, I went up and. Um, kind of like took one of each of the different pages for um, us and Andy to try. Um, so um, we'll try and find a photograph of our plate of pastries. It looks like a lot, but I kind of just put one of everything on there for us to see, um, just to try everything really. And they were all really delicious, weren't yeah. they? And we also um, had some coffee and mm -hmm. some um, orange juice as well. Mm -hmm. um, and um, we even got a coffee to take away with us. Um, yeah, so there was plenty of food. We really enjoyed the food. It was really, really nice. And yeah, it was, it was included in the price. So uh, yeah, just... They did really well. Like after the mix reviews, we weren't sure, um, but we found that it was it was really nice yeah. and we enjoyed it. So early morning magic, was it worth the eighty five dollars? Would we do it again? Um, I'm I'm thinking you probably already know what we're going <laughs> to say um, because we do not have. I don't think I have one bad negative thing to say about no. early morning magic. Do you? We really loved it. Um, it basically the the breakfast was brilliant. Yeah. Um, the wait times are amazing. Yeah. Like we didn't have fast passes for Slinky. We had sixty day window. We booked like bang on time. We had and we nine still... days. We had nine nights. And 60 days out and we could not get one fast pass for Slinky Dog. But we did, really didn't want to wait sort of the 90 plus minutes no. um, in the standby line. No. And we, so. we tried to rope drop later on in the trip as well to get on it and we still couldn't get on it because the queue was crazy. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think, if, I think this event is just a perfect opportunity to really take in everything that Toy Story Land has to offer and really see it in all its glory because... You know that it's been worked on for so long. We've been so excited about opening, like for you know for these years, um, and you know it's it just it's so nice to be able to take it all in and just see it how I imagine that the Imagineers wanted it to be experienced. Um, you know I can't see those crowds dying down anytime soon. No. So um, yeah, so I I would say that it's definitely worth the money. Yeah. Um, and whether I would recommend it and whether I would go again. 100%. 100%. Yeah. I think on our next trip to Disney World, um, we will be trying to get tickets for this event, if we can. Um, and I would recommend to anybody, if especially if you haven't been to Toy Story Land before, um, I would 100% recommend that you um, pay that extra money and take in this event because I think it's brilliant. So if you have liked this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you are not already subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe so you can catch all of our other videos. Um, like we said, this is the third review from our um, December trip. So if you haven't seen those other reviews, please do check them out. And also, definitely check out our experience from Early Morning Magic. We'll leave a link below. Um, if you haven't seen our vlog series um, from that trip, please do check those out. They're all in a playlist. I'll link that below as well. And yeah, see for yourself our experience of Early Morning Magic. 
We also um, put lots of photographs on Instagram and Facebook as well. So if you're not already following our social media, please do head over there and uh, give us a follow and yeah, just check in with us. If you've got any um, comments about early morning magic or if you've got any questions, please do put them below and um, we'll try our best to answer them if you do or just share your experience. Have you been to early morning magic? What did you think about it? Um, yeah, comment below and uh, we'll, we'll start that conversation going. Thanks for watching. Have a magical day.